Uh, the idea for Schrock Innovation started when Thor Schrock was still in high school back in 1995. Well, since then, he's built the business into an award winner with three locations. Unfortunately, not all business owners are so lucky. Thor Schrock is back to explain a little bit more about that. Good to see you, Thor. I love how you just chalked it up to luck. What, what was that? <laughs> and skill. <laughs> and, yeah. and charm and good luck. Right, looks. all that stuff. I just got back from the, the concert in the Bahamas, you know. Me and Ja Rule hanging out. <laughs> you guys were just That's a whole other story that we were talking <laughs> Look about. Look it up and, online. It's uh, anyway, a big Anyway, actually, we're talking about computer habit today. What yeah. is computer habit? What happened with them? Gotcha. So, you know, one of the things that we're seeing in the, in the marketplace, it's getting harder for computer repair shops to, to continue to exist because computers are going to a, a place now where they're not repairable. I talked about this on the radio show a little bit. It's mm -hmm. called chip on board, mm -hmm. where everything is soldered down to the main board, where you can't take anything out or fix anything. My son's uh, 3DS, uh, his right shoulder button is, is not working. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm so proud of him. He decided he was going to take it apart and figure out what was broken. We right. ordered the little ribbon cable. It was like a $6 cable. And yeah, you could have taken it somewhere and had it fixed. But look, he's fixing it himself. This Great. is awesome. awesome. But you can't do that with computers anymore mm -hmm. because with everything soldered down, there's you can't replace anything. And so uh, some of the smaller computer repair shops, even some of the larger ones, last year we lost DIT uh, and Computer Habit went out of business in February. Computer Habit has been a mainstay in the Omaha computer repair mm -hmm field longer than we've been around. You mm -hmm. mentioned 95. Yeah. They, their sign hasn't been updated since the 80s. Yeah. I mean, it, it, they were one of the originals. They've been around for a while. And yeah. they sold their business when they, when they retired to somebody else who then took it over and there was some shenanigans that happened. I won't go into all the details, mm -hmm. that's not important, but basically the, the business is now closed. And, and Omaha has one less place to go now when your computers go bad. But the problem is when computer repair shops close, especially when there are shenanigans involved, mm -hmm. It, makes a, it gives all of us a black eye. And so what we try to do at Schrock is when, we, when companies go out of business like that, we try to, to help out their customers as much as possible. To, to give them, you know, they bought computers. They had warranties on those computers. And usually at the end of a computer repair shop's life, things are kind of squirrely. So, you know, you're, you're building computers mm -hmm. out of parts you wouldn't necessarily build them out of. Or maybe you know that part's not really great, but you're going to put it in there anyway because you're not going to be around. You know, that kind of stuff happens when, when these companies start to fail. So, you know, we like to be there to help customers out and recover from that. So are there services there that people had prepaid for? And what happens now if, the, if that's the case? Yeah, that's, that's what really got them got in the end, is they, they had some really, really trusting customers. In fact, I did my radio show, and I had former uh, Computer Habit customers like Nan. Hi, Nan. <laughs> uh, Nan calling in and you know, saying hi to everybody uh, and telling us her experience with Computer Habit. It was great. You know, it was a good little local mom and pop shop to go to, and then it was sold, and it went downhill. And people would buy these annual maintenance agreements. Mm -hmm. uh, and what ended up happening was a, a really trusting older gentleman gave them a couple blank checks and then it went downhill from there yeah so what happens if you if you pay for maintenance annual maintenance checkups or if, if ongoing service yeah. to your computers you pay for those in advance now those customers that, that went to computer habit um, will they get anything back for that or what, well what, what, what no uh, the computer habit is done at this point in fact they're according to the reports I've seen there are still people's computers that are locked inside the computer habit building they can't get to them um, so basically, if you have an annualized maintenance agreement, like you paid for an entire year and now you know, they're gone, you don't have any support, we want to let you know you can come over to Schrock and you bring in your paperwork that, says, that shows your receipt and everything. Obviously, we can't call them. We're not associated with them. Mm -hmm, we haven't sure. talked to them. You know, we don't know anything about what's going on with them, but that's not the point. We have con consumers in the marketplace that paid for a service that is not incredibly expensive to deliver. You know, computer mm -hmm. support, you know, we have the Schrock desk, we can, we can just fold you guys right into our existing product line and take care of you and, and make sure that you have the support that you need because a lot of their customers were in that 40 plus demographic, really trusting people, people who, ha who think they need a lot of help but really they have really basic questions. Mm -hmm. and, and they're super easy to help and they're really appreciative. They bring you cookies and stuff. So, <laughs> you know, we, we're trying to up our cookie game, you know. You just need cookies. more cookies. <laughs> well, and these are people who made the decision to support a local business. Yeah. So by stepping in, that shows that there still are local businesses out there out there that can help you with there what are. you need, and, and that's important to you, the too. The vast majority of computer repair shops in the Omaha metro area, and, you know, us and, and some of our competitors, the vast majority of them are honorable, honest businesses. There are a few, like what happened with Computer Habit, that really put a black eye on our industry and our field. So it's, it's, it's up to us to kind of step up and say, that's not how it's supposed to be. And then let's go ahead and take care of it. So if you have a computer that you bought at Computer Habit, mm -hmm. and you have like a one-year warranty on it, something goes wrong, bring it into Schrock, bring in your, your receipt showing that you, you have the warranty on the computer, we'll fix it up for you. If you have a prepaid maintenance agreement, same thing, we'll, we'll mm -hmm. honor the prepaid maintenance agreement. To, and then, you know, that by the time, we're not gonna ask you for any money because you've already been asked for enough money. So we're not going to ask you for any money, but we'll just let you experience that service. And once you see that there are still places in town that can and are willing to help, 
then next time around when you're ready to do the maintenance checkups, we don't do annual maintenance like where you pay mm -hmm. annually for mm -hmm. it or anything like that. It's not really what we do, but when it comes time for your next preventative maintenance checkup, you'll watch for the sale, I'm sure. Yeah, right. Well, if you're a former computer habit customer, go ahead and look up the Thor Shrock Innovations. The website's at the bottom of the screen right there. But you're right. I remember back in the 80s, my first computer with my Commodore 64. Oh, yeah. The, the computer shop that I went to was off 50th and Leavenworth, and it was in a house on the main floor of this house, you'd walk in there and you could buy computer supplies. Yeah. Things have really changed since then, yeah, Thor. Yeah, it's a little different now. Thor's younger than you are. He might not remember not, that. Not by much, not by, <laughs> not by much. Uh, Schrock Innovations, there's three locations, Village Point, Papillion, and then there's also one in Lincoln. I got my Commodore at the thrift store. Did you? Nice. Yeah. Uh, Commodore 64, Ours nothing came better. free with like a furniture purchase or something. <laughs> it was a little like Texas Instruments, something. But you didn't get the floppy drive with that. No. Thanks, I Thor. Tape drive. May is here. Let's Thank party.